These are the exercise sets from section uh, 1.3. On this first problem, it says, if a person is selected random, what is the probability that they plan on a vacation at the beach given, and that's the key word, given that the person is between the ages of 26 to 35? Well, if you're given that the person is between the ages of 26 to 35, then you know you're only dealing with these 35 people, not all of them. So it's out of 35, and out of these 35, how many of them plan on vacationing at the beach? 15, so it's 15 out of 35. Problem two, if a person is elected random, what is the probability that the person is between the ages of 26 to 35 given that they vacation at the beach? So it's this last bit that really matters here. Given that the person vacations at the beach, well, there's only 65 people that vacation at the beach. And how many of them are between the ages of 26 to 35? 15. So it's 15 out of 65. And you would write that probability of 26 to 35 given, this little line here means given, that they uh, vacation at the beach. Like this first one here, you would write this, the probability, uh, now uh, that, that it says here, vacation at the beach, given that the person is between the ages of 26 uh, to uh, 35. And you can see right here on this very first problem that the order matters. Vacation, vacation at the beach given this age group is not the same as that age group given vacation at the beach. Okay, it's out of different numbers. This one's out of the 35 people that are in this age group, and this one's out of the 65 people that vacation at the beach. Okay, this one, what percentage of people are between the ages of 26 to 35 and? That's a key word. So, and vacation at the beach. So, we're talking about the and thing. So, they have to satisfy both of these conditions. So, 26 to 35 and vacation at the beach, it's 15. And it's 15 out of the total group because there's nothing given that it's only dealing with a certain population. You would write that with the and, and it's 15 out of 175. Well, four, what percentage of? Of is the same as like saying given. You're restricting yourself just to these 18 to 25 year old folks. So it's out of those. How many are vacationing at the mountains? Well, how many 18 to 25 year olds do we have? 35. And how many of them are vacationing the mountain? 10. So it's 10 out of 35. Well, five of the people that vacation in the mountains. Well, it's out of these people that vacation in the mountains. So of these. Uh, see, given vacation in the mountains. And how many people do we have that do that? 60, so it's out of 60. And how many of those are between the age group of 46 to 64? Well, 10. So it's 10 out of the 60. On problem 6, it says, what percentage of people vacation in the mountains and are between this, these, uh, this age group? Well, it's and. So they have to satisfy both things. Vacation in the mountains and also uh, between 26 to 35, so it's 15, and that's out of the grand total of, of 175. So right here, that should be a 175 on that, not a 60, 175. So read it carefully. What percentage of the people, of the people, not of the people that vacation, what percentage of the people that vacation, what percentage of the people vacation in the mountains and are between the age group. So they have to satisfy both. So just read it carefully there. I had to read it a couple times. The and is the key word that means it has to satisfy both conditions. And the only ones that vacation the mountain at 26 to 35 are these 15 people. And again, it's out of the total. When it's, a, and it's an and thing, it's out of the total. Seven, of, of the people that are between the ages of 46 to 64, so it's just out of those people, and there's 40 of them, how many of them vacation in the mountains? Well, 10. So it's 10 out of 40, or 25%. And then we've already written these with uh, symbols. Okay, we've already written these with uh, symbols. And uh, then uh, to question 11, should you assume that the choice of where a person vacations is independent of their age? Definitely not. Don't assume that anything like this is independent. And in fact, you can see here that uh, they're not the same percentages in each one. In fact, like right here, there's no no 65 and up that uh, vacation in the beach. There's not the same percentage in each group, so definitely don't assume them to be independent of each other. Then 12 says, are the events age 36 to 45 and vacationing at the beach independent of each other? And use mathematics to show they either are or not. Well, very likely they are not. If they were independent of each other, you could just multiply the two individual things together. 
So the probability of 36 to 45 and vacationing at the beach, 36 to 45 and vacationing at the beach is 15 out of 175. And the only way they would be independent, let me make sure I got that, 36 to 45 and vacationing at the beach, yep, should be 15 out of 175. And the only way that would be independent is if that equaled the probability of age 36 to 45 times the, vaca uh, times the probability that they vacation in the mountains. And if you do these two, see, 36 to 45, that's 35 out of 175. And vacation at the beach is 65 out of 175. If you take these two and multiply them together, you don't get the same thing as 15 out of 175. So they are definitely not independent. On uh, 13, classify the events as dependent or independent. Well, here's the probability of A, probability of B, and the probability of A and B equals 0.42. Well, they are independent if the probability of A and B equals the probability of A times the probability of B. 0.6 times 0.7 is 0.42, so they're independent. See, these are not because this times this doesn't equal this. Are these independent? Well, A times B doesn't equal this, so no. Classify these as dependent or independent. The event of, of getting an ace, then a king, when two cards are drawn from a deck of playing cards, and the first card is replaced before the second card is drawn. They're independent because the card is replaced. The probability that you get an ace uh, and then a king when the card is replaced, well, the probability that you get uh, an ace is 4 out of 52. Then the probability that you get a king is still 4 out of 52 because you replace the card. See, the probability of an ace and, let's say, king is equal to the probability of ace times the probability of king when you replace the card. Classify these. Uh, two events of the events of getting two aces when two cards are drawn from a deck of playing cards and the first card is not replaced. They're not independent because the probability of getting two aces when the card is not replaced is 4 out of 52 times 3, because there's only uh, three aces left, 3 out of 51. And that doesn't equal the probability of getting two aces by themselves. Uh, see, the probability of ace is 4 out of 52, and the probability of the next ace is 4 out of 52. So, so they're not independent because 4 out of 52 times 3 out of 51 doesn't equal 4 out of 52 times 4 out of 52. So these are not independent. Uh, dealt two cards without replacement. Find the probability that the first card is an ace and the second card is a 10. Well, the probability the first card is an ace is 4 out of 52, and the next card is a 10 is 4 out of 51 because uh, you're given that the first card had to be an ace for this to happen. So there's still four 10s left, and you're down to 51 cards because the card was not replaced. 18, find the probability of answering three multiple choice questions correctly. If a random uh, guesses are made, assume that each question has four choices. So the probability you get the first one right is one out of four, the next one one out of four, and the next one one out of four. And these are independent of each other because just because the uh, the answer to this one might be A or B or C or D doesn't mean the answer to this one is the same. It doesn't. One doesn't affect the other here on this. The answer to one question doesn't affect the other. So it's one out of four, three times multiplied together. Same way with coins. On this one, it's one half, one half, one half. So we'll stop right there and we'll pick it up on problem 20 on the next video.